This is the first place I ever did comedy was this room. In this room right here? In this room right here. March 21st, 1999 was my first time this officially is... telling a joke was in this room. So where was I when you were doing all this? I don't know, at the house, I yeah. guess. You wouldn't even ask for a ride? No. Oh, that's right. You didn't want me to. Because you was tripping. I feel like when I told you I was thinking about comedy, you went to this long thing about you just need to get that damn degree, boy. You don't need to be thinking about nothing else, boy. I never told my mom I wanted to do comedy because I knew she wouldn't approve of it. And I didn't want to hear about it. I was, I was in college at Florida A&M, and I got myself arrested for stealing some jeans at a department store. So I was, I was on probation. And so when you have a parent who thinks that they're going to lose their child to, to the justice system, to walk into their room and look them in the face and go, yeah, I'm going to ride a Greyhound with meth addicts and tell jokes in Kentucky for $30. And don't worry, I won't flunk out of school. Everything will be fine. I know I just almost went to prison, but didn't. But I got a better plan. Comedy. Isn't that what we all want in society? Everybody, no one wants to go around being unnoticed. Everybody wants to be some famous character or something. Everybody wants to be remembered for something. If I choke one person in this room, I'm just an idiot black boy at the end of his rope and kill somebody. But if I choke nine or 10 of y'all, <laughs> I'm the Tallahassee Strangler. I've got my own made-for-TV movie. I've got a cookbook. I'm making speeches. I'm playing insanity. Not guilty. He walks free. And of course, I get my own autobiography. Chokehold. <laughs> Memoirs of a Tallahassee Strangler. With a four-word bio, Jason. <laughs> my name is Roy Wood. I appreciate y'all. My mom definitely felt like my priorities were in the wrong place, and she definitely made that clear. Like, what will it take for me to do comedy without you bothering me? Like, that's the thought in my head. It's just, all she talk about is school. Huh. Well, if I make good grades, then she can't say shit about me doing comedy. So I got back in school my junior year, and I made the dean's list the rest of the way. When Roy graduated, he came home, he took the degree, he threw it on the bed. He says, you can have this. I don't need this degree in my profession. So I accepted it graciously. I framed it and put it on the wall. And from this point on, I guess he must have been right. These days, I feel supported. You know, my mom, no matter what I've been passionate about, She's always supported it, man. Oh, you make me feel so emotional. I don't know, I'm being real. I told somebody the other day that if I became a porn star, my mom <laughs> would click the link just to make sure I get an advertising dollar. Like, my mom, whatever porn I'm in online, my mom would click, click the ad under the porn just so her baby could get a dollar. Really? 